Hey everybody, my name is Macon Phillips. I'm the Director of Digital Strategy at the White House. I really wish I could be there uh, in person to join you today, but uh, since I can't, uh, Dries uh, invited me to uh, make a video for you, talk a little bit about uh, our history of using open source software here at the White House, and as many of you know, uh, that's revolved around uh, using Drupal. It all started back in October 2009. Uh, when we rolled out whitehouse.gov on the Drupal CMS. And for us, that was a big win. Uh, we had spent a few months prior to that really thinking through how the White House and government generally could use an open source framework to power a high profile website like whitehouse.gov. We actually had to make some customizations to the CMS so that it would scale uh, and that we also had some accessibility uh, features built into uh, the CMS. And we were able to release that back out to the community because we knew it wasn't good enough just to take the work that had already been done and, and use it uh, at the White House, we really wanted to demonstrate to the rest of government, but also to you, uh, what it was like to be committed to the idea of open source software development, uh, that we were contributing back to the community. But our main application, the one I wanted to talk to you about today, many of you are aware of, is We the People, our petitioning application. This is a really important civic engagement application that runs on top of Drupal. And since we've launched it in September of 2011, over 8 million people have used it to create over 13 million signatures. Uh, and that's growing, continues to grow at a really, really rapid pace. We've been able to do this because we have been developing in an agile approach, releasing our code, getting feedback from the community. And the direction we're taking it now is to build it all on top of APIs. And that's not just a claim I'm making. We actually have a read API that's already available. It's a read API that's been vetted by the first ever White House hackathon, where we invited people from outside the White House to come in, bang on our system, tell us where the bugs were, work through what developers really needed from a read API, uh, and now we've been able to release something that we're really proud of. So this is where it gets really interesting. We've got the read API already out. You can get the data on the We the People uh, petitions that exist at whitehouse.gov but we're gonna have a write API so that people can create signatures and a host of applications on social media, other petitioning platforms. It's really up for you to decide because after all, that's how we're really going to scale this kind of civic engagement. We need people like you involved in our creative process. Civic participation can mean a lot of things, but it can also mean coding. Uh, we've seen that at the local level, we've seen that at the state level, we've seen that in many different agencies. Our federal CIO has, has taken uh, steps to make APIs available at the agencies, to release data sets, to do a whole host of things so that the federal government is more accessible to capable, bright, motivated people like you who really want to help. We want to continue working with you. There's so much more work to do. And that's why my colleague Lee Heyman uh, is also out in Portland. He'll be hosting a session 5 p.m. tomorrow uh, that I hope all of you can attend. Maybe not all of you, but uh, swing by, meet him, because as much as this is uh, grand ideas and really fun to talk about, like you, I'm the one who wants to roll up the sleeves and really get to work on some of this. We have a lot to do. So thanks for having me. Thanks, Therese, for inviting me, and I'll hand it back to you. Thanks, everyone.